Hello everyone! Today I'd like to show you my teeny tiny hydrogen generator split cell. I made this generator as a demonstrator to myself and you to show you how the separation works and for myself to choose a different separation material because the material that I used to use for my generators to split hydrogen and oxygen didn't work anymore. So I will explain you how I made it and how it works. Okay, so I started by cutting off the bottoms of two plastic trays. Then I smoothened out the edges with a little bit of sanding paper. Then I cut a rectangular hole in the bottom. And then I sanded the bottom so it would be nice and flat. Then I drew and cut out a rectangle out of this nylon sheet. I applied some two component resin to the bottom sides. And then I placed it on the piece of nylon. I sanded these two pieces of stainless steel to increase the surface area. Then I drilled the exit hole in one side. Then the other side.
on the other half to the membrane. And I made sure that the sides were completely sealed. Then I degreased the stainless steel plates. And glued the whole assembly onto it. Then I used some tape so the glue would stay more or less in place. And this is the result. Okay, so I have some sodium hydroxide dissolved in water. I will now suck in some of the fluid into the generator. Okay, that will be enough. Okay, so I've attached the power supply and uh, the negative is on this side and the positive on that side. So hydrogen will be generated on this side. So let's apply voltage. I'm not going above 3 volts because if I increase the voltage too much, then the generator will get too hot and it will break because the metal will expand more than the plastic and therefore it will and then the glue will crack and it will start leaking so we'll keep it at a low voltage and of course there's still some normal air on this side so we'll just first let it vent and then I will put the tube in this soapy water so we can make hydrogen bubbles just to demonstrate so we'll now let some of the hydrogen bubble out on this side and of course this already proves that the separation works because this side of the hose is open and this side has to blow into the water pressure. And you can see here now that there's a difference in water level. So let's see if this is hydrogen. This one is way low. Yes, hydrogen. Because it gave no bang. You can see here that if I take out the hose and the level comes more or less equal again and I put it on the water and it starts to rise again so now it needs to build the pressure on this side because it needs to push down the water on this side yes pure hydrogen okay so that works this is my big hydrogen generator and unfortunately the separation system failed. In a couple of videos ago I explained how I test if the separation still works. So if you want to see that go click the link here. And if you want to see the hydrogen generator and compressor unit completely explained then click this link. This is the material that I used as a separation membrane for my big hydrogen generator. And it worked pretty well for one and a half years, but this uh, fabric, which just uh, kind of felt when it's wet, and especially with the sodium hydroxide solution, it dissolves and you can see that even if it's dry, it will tear. But when it's wet, it apparently after some time, the fibers just fall apart. So 
I could replace it with this again, but of course after one and a half years I have to do it over again, so I want something different. So I'm now going to use this nylon sheet. This nylon works pretty well, because it doesn't dissolve, it doesn't fall apart. It's very strong, you can tear it up by hand, so it's much stronger. A little bit here, that's much stronger than the felt. Here you can see that I left both materials in sodium hydroxide for a week. You can see here that the felt tears very easily and that the nylon fabric is still pretty strong. So this is what I used for this hydrogen generator. And I will do a follow-up video about my uh, large hydrogen generator where I will take it apart and I will explain more of how the separation works and how I made the membranes, how, the, how I cut them out and stuff like that. So, so we'll show that in a while. Okay, just to demonstrate, I have here a glass of water and a piece of PVC pipe with a piece of nylon fabric attached to it. And if I make a dent in here, I already tried it so it's already wet. And I place it in here. Like so. So you can see that there's water in here. So if I now blow in a little bit of air. It will stay under the fabric. A view from the top. Now the way this separation works is that the wet fabric doesn't let through any gas. That's because the surface tension in between the fibers prevents them to do that. That's because at a depth of about 5 cm the water pressure is of course very low. And because the surface tension space that the fibers create is extremely small, therefore the pressure for that area is also extremely small and is not able to break the surface tension. And because the fabric is wet it conducts electricity without any measurable resistance. Okay, that's it everyone. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram and see you next time.